we have one of these English cucumbers. We're going to go ahead and cut the ends off of it. And then we're going to stripe it a few times. Although most of the vitamins are going to be in the skin, it's more of an aesthetic thing. So we're going to put a, little, a couple stripes on this cucumber, maybe four of them, three or four, whatever you want. Or you can leave the skin on all together. All right? And I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing in half. So we went ahead and cut them in half. And we're going to get a little spoon here. We're just going to scoop out the seeds. It doesn't have to be exact or real precise. Just get rid of some of these seeds and a lot of the moisture content here. And we're going to scoop them out kind of like a little canoe. Or a pea row, huh? Is pea row right? I'm not sure. I think they call them a little Cajun canoe. So now we've got uh, some of the seeds out of here, or most of them out of here. I'm going to flip them back over. We're going to cut them all over like a little quarter inch. And then grab these other two. Rock of the knife, easy. Not much tension with your wrist. Okay, that's gonna be our cucumbers. Now we're gonna go ahead and move these over to a bowl. And then we're gonna work on this onion next. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, little part of the end off, a little part of this end. Peel it and skin it, cut it in half this way. There's a lot of different ways we can go ahead and peel or we can go ahead and cut this onion. We're going to try to do it uh, today. We're going, to, we're going to cut it this way. We're going to cut it in half, turn it over, cut it in half this way. And then we're going to go with some thinner slices, maybe eighth inch. We get down to the end here, you might want to take the other one, kind of use it for a little temporary support. There's that little part, the little part at the end, the little heart. We're going to cut that out of there. Sometimes it's a little hard, since this is a fresh salad. Do the same thing, cut it in half, and then all right, we're gonna add this to it. So I add one English cucumber, one Vidalia onion. Then we're gonna grab a couple of these tomatoes, and we're gonna go ahead and cut these into little wedges. So we're gonna take the tomato. Cut it in half like this. Come over here and you can core the, the stem part out. I'd recommend doing it like this. Making sure not to cut yourself. Then we're gonna take this tomato and we're gonna turn it on its side. It's probably easier doing it this way, but turn it on its side and we're gonna cut thin little wedges. Instead of slices, instead of cubes. If you want to cube it, uh, you know, cut it in the cubes, or, or if you want to do it in slices, that's fine. I find these little wedges are easier to grab with the fork. So, as I'm cutting these wedges out, use my hands like this, grab them, cut them. We got uh, about one tomato over here. We might even add another half of a tomato. Depends on the size or how much you like of each ingredient. So we're going to again cut in half. Leave this half over here. We're going to take out the little core or the stem part, bring it up on its side, just kind of move it ever so slowly. There you go, we got some tomato wedges. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of this Italian, some of the Italian seasoning, go ahead and shake it up real well. Let's see if I can get my measuring tablespoon out here. We're going to go with uh, two tablespoons of the Italian oil. Some sea salt, probably about 15 or 20 turns. Okay. Then we're going to use a tablespoon and a half of our champagne vinegar. One, well, actually, we'll use two. There you go. Two tablespoons of that. And then maybe a little bit of fresh black pepper. Maybe four or five turns, maybe half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. All right. And a little bit of the Creole spice, maybe a couple pinches, maybe uh, half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. And then the secret ingredient is some of our, our herb dust, which is our Italian seasoning that's been finely ground. On this, we'll probably use another teaspoon or a few more pinches. There you go, it's like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. 
and toss this ever so lightly. Mix the ingredients, the spices, and the vinegar, and the oil, and get them maybe fairly well distributed. And you can go ahead and transport this in then too, into a little Tupperware or a little bit of um, our, our, our baggie, and let it marinate for about, oh, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes, and then check the water on it, and then let it sit in the fridge for about an hour, at least, to chill, you can serve it then, or you can go ahead and let it sit for an hour or two at the most. I wouldn't really recommend this sitting overnight, because the vessels are gonna sweat, there's gonna be so much water, it's gonna become soggy. So this is a dish you want to prepare in only maybe an hour or an hour and a half at the most out from when you want to serve it, ideally. And then if you want to go ahead, when you, before you serve it, taste it, salt and pepper to taste for your preference. And there you go, you have a delicious, healthy cucumber, tomato, Vidalia onion salad.